So now in this video, we're going to look at uh, two changing voltages again. So we got the channel 2 probe down here. It's clipped to the anode. So we're looking at the voltage across the LED. That's the uh, green line, uh, 2 volts. And then we have the voltage across the resistor. So it's actually the voltage difference between what's across the LED and the supply voltage of 5 volts. You can see we're going up 5 squares. Uh, each square moving up is 1 volt and each square moving across is one second. There you can uh, see that uh, waveform right there. We uh, have the oscilloscope in roll mode right there. It's rolling across about one second per division. And now we're gonna zoom back so we can see the power supply and change the voltage of the power supply while we do this. So again, we have uh, five volts at the power supply, two across the LED, three across the resistor, and you see as we drop the voltage, the voltage across the LED holds uh, steady. It's still 2 volts. Well, we have now just 1 volt out of 3 across the resistor. And uh, not a lot of uh, current is flowing through. We can go 2 volts. It just kind of went down a spec with the LED. Not leaving much though across the resistor. You can see that the red LED is not very bright. And if we drop to uh, 1 volt, now there's uh, no voltage left across the resistor. Uh, Nothing other than probably a little trickle is getting through the LED. Uh, so no current flow because there's no voltage across the resistor. That one volt is all across the LED. Now we're going to raise the total voltage to 8 volts. So 2 volts across the LED. About 6 volts across the 1000 ohm resistor. So we have about 6 milliamps of current. Probably a spec shy right there. Because we have uh, 6 volts across the resistor. 1000 ohm resistor. For each volt across it, you get one milliamp of current through it and also through the series components. So now what we're going to do is double the current through the circuit and the backlight goes dim after a couple minutes because I'm using the battery. All I have to do is squeeze the uh, top here and the hook comes out. Just got to slide it back like that. That simple to unhook it and to get uh, twice the current with the same voltage across the resistor because the LED is pretty fixed with how much voltage goes across it. We just take half the value resistor. So this is 470 ohms, about uh, 500 ohms. So it's about half of the resistance that we were using before. And of course we have to hook the uh, probe back onto there. So hopefully it doesn't lift it up at all. And uh, we'll zoom back, do this all in one shot hopefully. So now we have uh, 8 volts. Uh, when I press the button, we should have about 12 milliamps of current now instead of uh, 6. So there you can see 11. It's about 12. Uh, but there you can see the voltage is the same across the uh, resistor and the LED that it was before. And of course we can uh, lower the voltage. We're going to get the same waveform uh, voltage wise. Uh, we're just going to have about twice the current that we had uh, before. Now, of course, when we should uh, talk about when it goes down to no voltage across the components. That's because the switch is open. It's like it doesn't exist. There's a gap. There's a no voltage when uh, the switch is open. All the voltage is across the switch, which uh, we were not measuring. We were just measuring the voltage across uh, the LED and then the voltage on the other end of the resistor. So that's all we can see on this. So in any case, I uh, hope you enjoy. These are uh, topics you learn when you're beginning electronics, but you don't usually see uh, the waveform on an oscilloscope, but it should help to see those uh, waveforms. And it should help you visualize circuits like this when it comes to the voltages uh, later on without an oscilloscope. So hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. Also, I'm on uh, battery power, so I should turn off the oscilloscope to uh, say battery. It will auto shut off in five minutes, but uh, best just turn it off anyways. So thanks for watching.